Let's give a few minutes to get on people to get on here. Hey, Mark. <clears throat> Hope you're doing well. Still catching those fish. Haven't been able to get out much. <clears throat> the wind's been blowing 120 miles an hour every every time I get a chance to go. And you've been killing them in there, Mark. <clears throat> Yeti whisperer, we should fish together. Hey, I'm down. Once all this crazy stuff passes. I'm down, just, are you in DFW area? <clears throat> yeah, probably four or five minutes, <clears throat> we'll start talking. I think we're supposed to get some, some rain tomorrow, some storms. Hey Sharon, thanks for joining. I think we're supposed to get some rain tomorrow, and then I think next week, too, I saw a Yeti Whisperer, your crappy vids on the creek with the giant houses in the cove. My buddy house is on the other side of the cove. Uh, I'm trying to think of which one that is, Yeti. I've got a, I've got a lot of creek videos. I'm trying to think of which one that is. <clears throat> yeah, more rain next week. My legs are just now getting has the big trampoline in the water. Huh. I can't think of which one that is. Whoops. I'm trying really hard, Yeti. It has the trampoline in the water. I can't I can't think of one that comes up that has a trampoline in the water. Cannot remember. Big house in the point. Cannot think of it. I'm trying really hard to think. I can't think of which one it is. Sorry, Yeti. I have bad memory. <clears throat> I have to go back through once we're done and look and see which one you're talking about. Sharon L, did you check out the Lifetime Kite? I did check them out, uh, Sharon. Um, I did, I did check that out, and then I, uh, you know, checked out the price and you know reviews and things like that. And it definitely, definitely wasn't, didn't look like a bad uh, kayak at all. Fishing and float tube in Michael's Cove area. Man, Yeti, I'm still blank. I really don't remember. Fishing in a float tube. So this is one of my older ones. <clears throat> that's my, maybe that's why I'm not remembering. I have to go back through and look. Yeah, I, sh I did look at those, those Sharon. I appreciate the the info, and I definitely looked looked at looked at it, checked it out. So what did I en I ended up doing is I looked at you know all the recommendations I got. Mark's been also um, giving me a lot of uh, information and. You know links and things like that and I ended up just deciding to go with a um, the, the pontoon boat the little one-man pontoon um, the more I thought about how I'm planning on fishing the more I, I realized that that the uh, the kayaks just not not gonna do it 
it would work for a majority it would work for the majority of what I'm doing but there's I mean the brush piles in the summer I'm really wanting to be able to fish that and I feel like it'd be too much trouble in the kayak so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this pontoon thing out I've already ordered it it's on the way um, it should be should be here any should be here in like a week I think is what I remember I think so and I'm gonna try it and if it doesn't work that if you know if it's hard to move around or hard to do this or that then I'm gonna put a chiller motor on it I'm gonna throw a chiller motor on it uh, and then you know the more I'm, I'm thinking too like if it's blowing 20 or 30 I'm probably not gonna be out there anyway in the wind Thanks, Sharon. I hope so too. I'm. I mean, I would have. I probably would have. If if I could get a kayak that had the the pedal drive or the Mirage drive in it, I would have probably got it. But that's like thousand to fifteen hundred, pretty easy. And I don't have that kind of money to spend on something right now. So I figure at least this I can try it. If it if it works good, if it doesn't, just throw a trolling motor on it, get it registered. I looked up the registry feed. Actually, it's, I, it must have went down because I thought it was more back in the day. Keep your SMO when you get it. What's the SMO, Mark? Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, SMO. I got something to do with like the, the receipt or something like that. But... I want to say I want to thank thank you though Mark for for all the intel. Like I said, I definitely if I could have got a kayak with a uh, pedal system, propulsion system, then I would have got that. It's just I just can't. Statement of manufacturer origin. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Okay, definitely. I'm gonna keep all the paperwork for it. Hopefully, I don't need the trolling motor on it. But if I do, then I'll definitely throw one on there. Because I don't know, excuse me, I don't know how long I'm going to keep it. I mean, I'm probably going to have this for a while, so. Definitely want to invest a little money. I just can't invest, you know, a grand, 1500 in it for a kayak. I'd love to throw a spot lock trolling motor on it. That'd fix everything. Just anchor and just fish. So we'll see. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the anchor thing out. If it gets too windy, and just see how it does, and just I'm just gonna test it. We'll see. <clears throat> so hopefully next week um, I get it and then get it uh, figured out. Mark Williams plan on getting one pontoon slow row, slow rowing. Yeah, I figured so. That's what I'm saying. I'm definitely leaving that that door open. Um, I just want to kind of see how you know how it feels and what kind of weight it can handle before I go throwing one on there and um, yeah so I, I'm definitely that's definitely probably what I'm gonna end up doing but I want to at least give it you know give it a try without it first and then see <clears throat> and then to mark where I'm planning on fishing I'm not planning on going I have areas on lakes um, this is part of my thinking too. I had area I have areas on lakes, my home lake especially, that I could. I mean, there's I, there's places I could put my boat, my the pontoon in. And I can be sitting on brush and I'm trying to think how far it is. 150 yards. I can be sitting on brush, and there's multiple piles in this area. And then this, you know, this. I could always fish bridges. I can fish, you know, timber. I can eat. I can have one of those clamps that you can you can get. Um, you can clamp up to the uh, to the trees and and all that. Yeti whisper. What's your home lake? My home lake's grapevine. Hey Shelly, I'm sorry I missed you. Good evening. How are you? I hope you're doing good. Thanks for joining. Somehow looked over you. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Yeah, this thing's weird. You have to keep touching it for it, all the comments to stay up. And if you don't, it only when they pop up, it just it just shows them then, and then it goes away. That's the one thing I don't like about this this live thing. You have to keep touching them to make sure you don't miss nothing. 
So that's that's kind of the my thinking. I can be on. I mean, there's there's two there's two really good piles that I could get to really quick um, from from you know putting the boat in the water, the pontoon in the water, <clears throat> a few kicks, and I'm there. Um, and then I have other, I mean, you know, timber, I can clamp to that. I don't have to worry it just, you know, go from tree to tree. I don't have to worry about staying on the spot. The bridge, I'm going to make something to where I can hook, clamp, hook onto the pillars. That way I don't have to kick there the whole time. If it's, you know, breezy. If it's not windy, I'll just kick. That's fine. But if it's anything like this month is, this is, this, what May is usually a windy month. So I'm thinking it's going to probably be pretty windy. Uh, Slab Buster, what's going on, man? Hey, what's going on? Thanks for joining. Shelly, no worries, all good. I'm doing well. Glad to hear. Doing well is good, especially with everything going on. Hope it works for you. With kayaks, easy to keep modifying and get a lot of money into them. Yeah, I mean, you can... That's the thing. I mean, the this pontoon you can modify too. It just, I don't know. I, I modify a hook for low and high bridges. That's that's what I would love, um, Mark. Have you have you ever made anything that can like hook onto? Because a lot of the bridges I fish, the bridges are too high to hook on. Could, did you have you ever uh, made anything or seen anything that you can just like? I used to see them back in Joe Pool when I fished out there a lot. Someone would just it's like a little, like a little hook. You just comes like this, and just you clamp it together, and it holds onto the pillar. And you can unclamp it, and take it off. That way, you don't have to tie up and tie off every time. <clears throat> Slap bus, I go pontoon, more room, for, and the, can get the family sometimes. Oh, this is a one-man pontoon. I wish I could get a big pontoon, and take everyone out. Uh, Mark Williams, yep, yeah, both. Yeah, that's what I'm looking to make. Um, so I can <clears throat> just clamp on and latch onto the pillars if I need to. Yeah, it's just, I, I mean, I've, like I said, I had that tube for a long time and I realized how important, so I've, I've kind of found some little things that would help, I think. <clears throat> just because it, it, it does get, uh. It is pretty tough to kick and, and, you know, pedal the whole time, paddle the whole time. Not mine. Slap buster, I got you now. Yeah, I, sorry, I should have probably put that in the title, One Man Pontoon. Yeah, I'd love to get a, a big pontoon, but one day maybe. My wife wants a pontoon. She loves pontoons. They're just not the best for fishing. You can throw a spot lock trolling motor on there, maybe, but. <clears throat> yeah, so let's. I mean, I, I molded it over for weeks and weeks. I mean, the, the wife will vouch. I, I, I molded it over <clears throat> and looked and looked at reviews and looked at modifications and. Low bridges, shepherd's hook for bridge railings. High bridges make a PVC hook. Yeah, that's what <clears throat> that's what I'm thinking. Sorry, let me take a drink. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah. yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely look into that and make something. Because <clears throat> for the the timber, I have a little brush clamp. Um, I had that on the boat, and I took that off the boat. Just a little, you know, a little brush clamp, and you just clamp to the timber, and it's so easy. I, I mean, I use it all the time in the boat. And you just pull up, clamp off. You don't have to tie up to nothing. You don't have to mess with the trolling motor or nothing like that. So that's definitely on the list to make. <clears throat> Just the whole brush pile thing was the big the big problem with the kayak. I just I know how 
how my lakes that I usually fish that stuff fishes in the summertime. It's it's just not it's not a uh, what's the word? It's not productive to anchor up to each pile because I mean you could anchor up, catch one fish, and that's all it's gonna bite on that pile, and you have to move. So I figure at least with this I can you know hop around a little more and like I said if it's blowing 20 or 30 I'm probably not going to be out there anyway. Slab buster. <clears throat> I see a lot of people fishing out of the yaks around here. I've never been on one. I know they're super for creeks. Yeah. Um, I've, I've only been on one uh, in the Keys a while back, a few years ago. Actually, on, on our honeymoon, I think. Um, and that, I don't remember what kind that was or what, but me and the wife just went in that and kayaked around the, the backwaters. It was, it was nice. <clears throat> Always take electric air pump with you, either chargeable or battery operated in case small haul. Yeah, I'm planning on <clears throat> definitely keeping one there. I'm going to... I ordered a uh, hand pump with it, so I mean, if I if I have to, I can you know pump it up because I have I have read too that in the winter um, you have to you know put them in the water and then let them adjust because the air the air contracts, cold air contracts, warm air um, expands. So in the winter, you know, it's going to contract and you got to put a little more air in there to keep it keep it uh, full. And then just let all the air out when you get done. So I have I have read up on that, and that's I'm planning on keeping one of those. All I mean, I'm planning on keeping one all the time, but definitely seems like the winter is when that definitely can be a problem. Big hole, yeah. And I'm, I mean, I'm really looking to use this like an open water. I'm not going to be up in the jungle fishing. And <clears throat> I mean, the the most crazy thing is probably just the timber, <clears throat> the timber, and then creeks in the winter. But the creeks in the winter, I can kind of, I can get around that. It's not too bad. If you're thinking hand pump won't work, yeah, that's true. I'm definitely getting a uh, an electric one too at some point. And I'm not planning on being crazy far out in the, in the water anyway. But I'll definitely, definitely have one on hand. Had a tube just pop <clears throat> before nothing around me. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, always, that's always a possibility. Luckily, um, I mean, it's kind of far-fetched, but luckily with uh, with this, you know, it's got two separate air bladders, so, you know, worst case scenario, at least there's going to be part of the boat floating. As opposed to that tube, if that tube pops, I mean, you're, you're out of luck. You got to start swimming. I mean, most of the stuff will be in the water, you know, with this, but at least one part of it should, should float somewhat. So, and then I'm going to have my life jacket on every time, so I, I'm not worried about drowning or nothing with that, so safety first. That's what, how it was with the tube. With the tube as well, I always wore a life jacket, no matter how close I was to the, to the bank or just can't risk it. Mark, you tried out on the main lake? At uh, at Cedar Creek lately, or looks like they're up finally on docks down there. Been seeing lots of limits come from down there, and I'm assuming they're on docks. I need to once I get this. Once I get this, I might make a trip down there. We'll we'll see. I'm I probably. I mean, I want to make a um. I want to make a uh, trip down there, but fishing's good, getting good around here. Uh, 
had a slow leak on one pontoon, but it was over leak, overnight leak. <laughs> yeah, I mean it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, and also I'm gonna take the air out of it every night because I've read that if you leave the air in it at all times, it's gonna expand, contract, expand, contract, and it's gonna, um, it can, you know, pop it or make it leak. Mark Williams, buddy, hitting docks and brush piles both. Okay. Yeah, I wish, wish I'd get back down there right now. But even, even if I could, the wind's just been crazy. I went out um, last week, and that wind was bad, and checked a few brush piles and some areas that I usually do good in by now, but at my home lake, but they're they're not there yet. I think I think they're still I think they're still spawning. Uh, Mark Williams. Yep, take the air out. Yep. That's what I've read. I took I mean I I've read as much as I can on it and I'm trying to, you know, cover all my bases and not overlook anything that would tear it up or you know. I just realized too, my shirt's inside out. <laughs> That's nice. Tells you how tired I've been. <laughs> I just threw it on and got to work, went to work and made my commute to the living room and started working. Didn't even didn't even throw nothing else, didn't even pay no attention to it. Why oh, I'm staying in the creek, still catching limit. Yeah. Yeah, you're killing them, Mark. I wouldn't leave either. No, I don't have to worry about wind or crazies or nothing. Yeah, I'd stay right there, too. So, that's that's what I've, what I've went with. And the fishing, the fishing's getting really good everywhere. I don't know if, how many, uh, you know, there's a lot of good Facebook groups out there and stuff that have, uh, excuse me, that have a lot of good reports. Um, crappie fishing fools and I mean, people, they're catching fish everywhere. Every lake around here is doing good except, except my home lake. It's just I don't know. It's just something's something's off about it. It they sh it should be better than it is. Not not doing nothing there. So I'm gonna probably go try uh, some different different lakes next week when I get this and just see. I'm not having to worry about other people, about people either. Yeah, that's true. Circan Turhan. Should I start with a John boat or a kayak? Uh, that depends. What kind of? Do you fish uh, by yourself? Or um, do you fish by yourself? And then how do you, I and mean, what do you, uh, do you fish like the big lake or rush piles with your wife? Yeah, yeah I'd probably get, I'd probably go with the John boat at that point. With your, with your wife, that way you can both be, you know, both, you know, be comfortable and have a little space and stuff like that. Definitely would go with the John boat. Mark Williams saw you got a new rod. I did. Not, and I haven't got it yet, but yeah, that was pretty cool. I've I've entered a lot of a lot of giveaways and never won anything, so it's it's uh it's good to, to it's nice to win something. I've never I never used those rods either, so I'm gonna definitely try it out and see. Can't wait to use it. I'll probably meet up with uh, Steve later this week and uh, pick that up, and then I got some a bunch of jigs for the summer that I got ordered too. I'll, I'll show all that too on the, on the live next next week, I guess. Show you what I'm getting ready to use and colors and things like that. I gotta tie some jigs up too. I need to do that on live one day too. <clears throat> there's a there's there's not a lot better than a tiny uh, feather jig in the summer. And fish get finicky, especially on my home lake. That my home lake is that's one of the most finicky lakes around. That lake is really temperamental.
And those little feather jigs come in handy sometimes. Sir can turn in. Thanks. You're welcome, man. Glad to help. Hold on, this thing is saying my phone's dying. Shouldn't be dying. Hmm. My wife's gonna check it for me. I don't know if it just I haven't moved it really. Is it I can't tell on here, it doesn't give me the battery thing. Okay, yeah, sorry. It's charging. For whatever reason, the charger quit working for a second. Yeah, so May's, May's a really good month. Lots of good fish. Fish get done spawning. Sorry about that. <laughs> Having all kinds of issues. Get done spawning mostly. Unless uh, your lake's late, like my lake is. Like post spawn, bridges, timber, brush, boat docks. It all gets really good. I got uh, the last last video in the boat's gonna come out later this week, so I'm just just getting done editing it and putting it together and. It was it was a nice trip. So looking forward to that. So yeah, hopefully get get um get that uh pontoon. Hold on, let me check. All right, y'all. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get off here pretty soon. Just kind of wanted to. This thing is saying the battery's dying again. I'm having all sorts of issues. I'm about to, my phone's about to die too, and my charger's not charging it. So I hate to cut it short, but I have that going on. I can't get the thing to charge for some reason. I just wanted to come on here and you know update. Y'all on what I, um, Getty Whisper sent me a message about fishing sometime. Will do. Looking forward to it. Once all this, uh, crazy stuff blows over, then I'll definitely reach out, Yeti. Thanks for watching. Yeah, so I just want to get on here and let y'all know what I decided to get. Um, so... Looking, looking forward to getting that done. Shelly, thanks, kid, for your videos. Enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, Shelly. Appreciate the support. Yeah, hopefully there's going to be a lot more videos coming out in that uh, that pontoon. I'm going to try and do a little bit of everything. Some, some bluegill perch fishing. Cat fishing, maybe. Some sand bass, maybe. We'll see what, you know, what bite I can get on. And then crappie as usual. You know, I always have some crappie videos in there. So, I'll post, um, you know, I'll update as well. On, uh, next week I'll have, you know, hopefully have a better, I'll hopefully have it. Um, and then have be able to, you know, kind of get, get that put together and maybe get, you know, get out on the water with it. So, that's definitely the plan. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it short today. Got phone dying, can't get a charger to charge it, and just wanted to give y'all an update, so. Yeah, tell me it's 20% again. <laughs> All right, so thanks for, thanks for watching, y'all, and thanks for the support. Don't forget to, uh, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel and then hit the notification bell that way you get notified every time I post a video be on the lookout for um, the video coming at the end of the week the last video in the boat so 
be on the lookout for that. And then, you know, keep a. I also um have an Instagram just kid crappie. I'm, I'll update on there. I post pictures on there and update um, some some as well. So if you're looking to you know stay updated more, um, go go check that out and give that a follow. Kid, it's just kid crappie, just like it is on on YouTube. So give that a, a follow and then you'll be able to see more updates and hopefully I can get you know this thing rigged up and ready to go so so be on the lookout for that and as always thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one